Part of my focus for this little winter glow up that I'm embarking on is definitely nutrition and my eating habits, shaping those up and putting really good things into my body so that I feel really good. I've worked with coaches in the past. I've tried lots of diets on my own, meal plans, things like that. I feel like I found some ways of eating that work well for me and others that don't. I'm always open to exploring new things. So anyway, today's video is kindly sponsored by Beyond Body and they have custom created this personalized wellness book for me and they can do it for you too. So it's not just a meal plan, although there are 28 days of meals in here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. They also take into account your lifestyle, your sleeping, conditions you might have, types of workouts you like, kind of like your starting point and how active you already are. You do a little quiz online where they ask you about all kinds of things about your life and then they send you this beautiful book. It also comes as an ebook. There's also an app. The overall goal for this book is not weight loss necessarily, it's like overall health, but they do ask you some questions about what your specific goals are. That way they can calculate how much you should be eating every day. And that's what's really nice is you can just follow the little meal plans and not track any calories, not track anything. I wish this is a book that I found when I was first starting kind of learning about fitness and food and trying to improve my health because I feel like it would have saved me a lot of headaches and a lot of research because it like tells you everything up front and it's no BS. Like they'll talk here about like superfoods. Superfoods are not magic bullets. They're good ingredients to include, but it's not gonna like do something crazy for your body instantly. They also talk about like dealing with social pressure when it comes to eating and working out and all of that. It's funny because I've talked about a lot of these concepts in my video on how I lost 18 pounds, um, but this kind of just like condenses it and elaborates on a lot of the points that I was making. Very, very impressed. I followed this for a few days last week already. Essentially, they'll give you like, this is my breakfast options. So I can choose one of each of these things basically. So I could choose strawberries or raspberries or blueberries. I can do oats, quinoa, or amaranth. And then I can choose the type of milk that I want. So that's really cool because all the ingredients that are in here are really basic things that you could find at any grocery store. There's lots of substitutions. So today I am gonna make this oatmeal and I did already have some milk in my coffee this morning. So instead of milk, I'm just gonna go with water. <laughs> I'm also trying to work on eating mindfully, which means eating without any distractions. I find that I feel so much more full when I'm just focusing on my food and not playing on my phone or reading or even listening to something. I've 
gotten ready. I've been sitting here working for several hours. I'm getting hungry. It's not lunchtime yet. It's 10.50. So I think it is snack time. Snacks are something that I tend to go overboard with. I feel like that is what derails me in eating healthy usually is that I just snack too much. So I think it is nice that they've included two snacks per day and that I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a limit. Otherwise I could just snack and snack and snack and then I don't eat real meals. So that's another thing that this little book is helping me with is eating actual meals and not eating too many snacks. So let us go see what's in order for snack time. My snack is I got cashews or peanuts or almonds. Let's do almonds. This is three tablespoons. Hello, again. Okay, I've had so many meetings. It's time for lunch and I'm starving. I'm gonna admit to you that I do need to do a big old grocery shop. So I'm following this lunch recipe, but not preparing it exactly how they want me to prepare it. Um, it's supposed to be stuffed bell peppers. I don't have bell peppers, but I do have ground turkey. I have onions, I have rice, I have cheese. I have everything but the pepper. Instead of pepper, I'm gonna just like dice up some tomatoes. I feel like that's a good substitute. And I'm just gonna eat it as like a little bowl, okay? I think what matters is that I'm eating the right ingredients and the right amounts of them, not that I'm preparing it exactly the right way. This is a very interesting meal. Honestly, I'm not a picky eater. If I'm hungry, I'll eat whatever you put in front of me. So I'm happy with this because I'm very hungry right now in this moment. Just got back from the store. Because as you saw earlier, I had no groceries. Um, got some things. They couldn't fit everything in my baggies. So there's a wee bit of plastic, but I'm proud of my reusable bag usage. Kind of similar stuff to my usual grocery haul except a few extra things that were items I needed for my meal plan. I cheated and I got a rotisserie chicken. Number one, because I can't remember the last time I had a rotisserie chicken and it sounded good. Number two, because every time I've cooked chicken lately, I've not wanted to eat it. It just sounds gross. So maybe if someone else cooked it for me, I'll feel better about it. It is cardio time. I'm trying to get like four days of cardio in a week, a good 25 to 30 minutes of my heart rate being up. I haven't gone for a run since September. Now it's almost January because I got a stress fracture in my knee. So I was taking it easy for a really long time, but my doctor said it's okay for me to get back into it just slowly. So I thought it would be more fun and more efficient if I just take Toby on a walk slash run. Putting on the leash thingy where it can go around my waist so I don't have to hold him. I'm honestly very scared because I haven't run in so long. I feel like my lungs are gonna give out, but it's probably gonna be like a walk run situation where I run a little bit and walk a little bit. Toby runs really fast though, so we gotta figure out how to like tone that down as we run. Yeah, we're gonna go enjoy this beautiful day. It's like a little bit chilly, so I've got this little light jacket on and my shorts, but I think once I start moving, I'll feel good. Doggy. <gasps> what are you doing? You ready to run? Oh, let's go. <gasps> you ready? Oh my goodness. That didn't really go as planned, but I didn't expect it to be great. We probably ran a total of four minutes, honestly, because there were too many people, he was running too fast, and I just couldn't do it. Uh, it did feel really good to run at least a little bit though. It's time to eat my chicken. <laughs> um, chicken and veggies and dressing. Yum, yum, yum. Definitely not the best presentation, but we've got some lettuce and tomatoes and guacamole slash avocado 
and the chicken. I just took the chicken breast from my rotisserie chicken. It probably seems like I didn't eat a lot today, but I've kind of been keeping track, doing some mental math on how much I've been eating. Just even though I know that the book did that for me, I just wanted to double check and make sure I was eating enough actually, and I am. I think I'm just not used to eating things like avocado or nuts or peanut butter as often. It's like higher fat foods, um, and I forget how calorically dense they are, but they can really help me feel more full and satisfied. So it's kind of the trade-off you make, like you get less volume, but they make you feel fuller. If you watched my last video where I did my planning, I talked about how I am dedicating 30 minutes every day to just doing whatever I want, whether that be like watching TV or playing on my phone or whatever. That way I still have some fun every day, but I'm not like addicted to my devices. But yo, know, I'm tired. And I think that's a really good sign because lately I haven't been getting tired early in the evenings. Like I'm very wound up right before I go to bed and then I find it hard to sleep. So I'm very happy that I have done so much today and accomplished so many things that I feel good and like I can just have a restful sleep. So I'm gonna watch some television. It looks so spooky with my little lamp. If you hear sounds, it's Toby eating a toy. It is not even 9 p.m. and I'm so tired. I, like I have a headache because I'm so tired. I'm just gonna sit here, do a little reading, and go to sleep. I feel like this was a great start to my winter glow up. I hope you enjoyed this day vlog. <laughs> my intention is to continue this series so you can witness the glow up. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to use my little link slash code for your discount on the Beyond Body book, app, ebook, all of the things. And I hope to have you back for my next video.